At the time of publishing this video, Thrive Theme Builder is almost here and we could not be more excited for all of our loyal members to get their hands on it. If you wanna get the most out of your WordPress theme, you have to make sure you understand the differences between themes and page builders, but more importantly, how they work together. And in this video, I'm going to go over the three major ways in which themes are incredibly important still, why I think you should use one, and how Thrive Theme Builder and Thrive Architect work perfectly together. This is Colin from Thrive Themes back with another video. And I wanna get started off by explaining some of the core functions of a theme. These are one template, many pages, automatic interlinking, and dynamic content. Let's go back and talk about one template, many pages, and I wanna fully break that down. This is a really important thing to understand because when you're building your website and understanding what a theme does at its core is it allows you to make a change once and that change is applied everywhere instantly. So one easy example is if you wanted to make a change to the header, you don't have to go into a hundred instances on your site and change the header. You just do it one time and that change is applied everywhere. To give you a few more examples of the one template many pages concept, just think about your the rest of your blog archive pages or your blog post templates. It could even be the sidebars you use on different categories and even the category pages themselves. You're not gonna uniquely design every single one of these pages every time. You're going to design it once and that change is going to be applied to every single instance. This brings us nicely to our second point and that is automatic interlinking. So let's think about it this way. When you publish a blog post and you hit publish in the back end of your WordPress site, all kinds of stuff magically happens. It appears on the proper category page, the blog roll page, and it goes up to the top of the archive. Now, this all happens without you doing anything. Now, let's flip the table on this. If you were doing this individually using, let's say, a page builder and building one-off instances of your page, you would have to manually link everything together. Now, that's quite a tedious process and is definitely not the best way to do it. The third core function of a theme would be dynamic content. Now, let me explain dynamic content in the simplest way that I can. When you have a blog post title, it's going to have the same look, so the same font size, color, hover actions, or anything like that. But for every single blog post, it is a different word. So the words always change. They are dynamically populated. So your blog post titles would be the best example of dynamic content. Another example would be the featured image of all of your blog posts. So the image is gonna always look the same. It may have a border, corner, or round, or square image, but the image is gonna change dynamically depending on the post. Another example I wanna give is of the author box. It's always going to look and be designed exactly the same, but the image, the author name, and the author's bio is always going to be dynamically populated depending on who wrote the post. The three core functions of a theme are different than the core functions of a page builder. To best show you the core functions and how a page builder can be best used, I'm gonna just show you an example of how Thrive Architect and how Thrive Theme Builder work together. One more thing before we get started. I wanna make it really clear that Thrive Architect is a plugin that sits on top of Thrive Theme Builder, which is your WordPress theme. Let's start off by taking a look at the active growth blog. Now this entire page you see here was built using Thrive Theme Builder. And this covers all of the three core functions that we talked about earlier in this video. So point number one was one template, many places. Now this page was designed one time and the effects take place in 31 different times. So every single blog archive page is using the exact same template. Point number two was the automatic interlinking. So Every time a new blog post is published, it's gonna to go to the top of the feed. It's not gonna randomly get placed. It's gonna be at the top in chronological order in this case. And the third point is dynamic content. So you can see here that all the featured images, the blog post titles, and even the blog post snippet all have the same font, size, and look, but they're all unique titles, images, and text. That is a dynamic content being populated from WordPress onto the page here. The next page we're gonna take a look at is a blog post. And on this post, we're using Thrive Theme Builder and Thrive Architect together. So if we look at this post here, I wanna point out the Thrive Theme Builder element specifically first. So you have your social shares, you're gonna have the comments over here to the side, and you're also going to have the title of the blog post, which is gonna be dynamically populated. And if we go down to the bottom of this blog post, you're also going to see 
other elements that are from the Thrive Theme Builder side. That would be the author bio and the you may also like or suggested post section. Also, I wanna point out that the overall design of this page is within Thrive Theme Builder. So the width of the text on the screen, the width of pretty much everything you see on the screen was all determined at the theme level using Thrive Theme Builder. Let's go ahead and take a look now at the elements of this page that were designed using Thrive Architect. The simplest way to look at this is Picture this as a box and everything inside the box is built within Thrive Architect. This would include the quick navigation and the review tables and templates at the bottom here. This is all built using Thrive Architect and everything outside of the box, everything I pointed out earlier is using Thrive Theme Builder. The third and final page that I wanna show you is a sales page from Active Growth called Focus in Action. So this is his course on productivity. And I want you to notice one quick thing. If you look at this page, there is no header, there's no footer, there's no sidebar, there's none of the other elements we saw on any of the other pages. That's because none of this page was built using Thrive Theme Builder. This is 100% built using Thrive Architect. That's because it's a one-off and a one-instance page. You wouldn't want to use Thrive Theme Builder to build your sales page, but you would want to use Thrive Architect. Sales pages, landing pages, and even webinar registration pages are one-off or very few instance pages on your site where you'd wanna use Thrive Architect to build. And every other page on your site, you're gonna to wanna to use Thrive Theme Builder and Thrive Architect together. If you've been a Thrive Architect customer for some time, you're in luck. Thrive Theme Builder has the identical editing experience that Thrive Architect has. So you're gonna be able to visually edit, manipulate, and change not just pages or one-off instances on your site, but theme elements, your header, your footer, your blog post template, and much more. As of March 2nd, 2020, Thrive Theme Builder is available to our loyal members. So it's not quite available for public launch, but our Thrive Theme members are able to access the product on March 2nd. This is now one of the first and only builders we're able to visually edit and change anything on the theme level. And this puts Thrive Theme Builder at the very top of all theme building themes or any other WordPress products. The best way to stay up to date about all Thrive Themes products, Thrive Theme Builder, and everything else related to us would be to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube or hop on our mailing list over on thrivethemes.com. That's gonna give you all the information about Thrive Theme Builder updates, architect updates, and everything in between. As always, thanks for watching the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.